afternoon, everybody. Ah, uh, been been busy. Um, as you can see, I've got some cable tray run along here, and I've put the refurbished unit in, which is now a 5048 instead of a 4048. I've got uh, solar panel strings B and G on that one. Jeez, that's noisy. Uh, I haven't touched down there yet. You can see I've already got the the uh, cable duct there cut ready to go in that other half. Um, this bit's just got to have the AC run in it and when I remove those two units then I'll put that cable duct in there and the cover is in one piece just over there. The reason I've done it in two pieces is to get these ones here that are coming out um, and to get them put in so I had to cut it there to do that. Uh, everything's good. This one's resetting. The batteries are chock a block full. That's my open circuit volts on the solar panels, 105. That's where I like to keep my open circuit volts. Uh, this one here says it's charging. Let's have a look. I think we go the other way. It's, uh, and those solar panels are 105 volts. So I actually won't be putting anything in amps. No, nothing. See, the batteries are basically in float. Well, they are in float. It's just house loads running now off those two units. Uh, I had to put this one, because it was uh, originally paralleled, I had to put it back in single mode which I have done. I just turned the power switch on underneath. That should all come on in a minute. Here it goes. So the solar is running it. Um, it's all set up for charging. So the generator goes onto that unit and then that unit gets wired into position two on this three-way switch over here. Okay, down there, position two. All right, and the main units get wired into the auxiliary, or actually it'll be the other way around. The main units will be on mains, and the generator and the uh, refurbished unit will be on auxiliary. There we go. Um, I'll just flick, flick that back to the middle. So the generator will be running through this unit. There won't be any external AC sources running through these units at all. Uh, let me turn the inverter off. There it goes. So that one's just basically doing the charging and it's a backup unit. That's it. It's um, got solar on it. It's got about, I don't know, 1500, maybe a bit more watts on it. Um, these units down there have both got solar on them as well. So that's it. That's what it, when, it, when the cover goes on, all this in here, all the AC wiring, all the, all the interconnect, the parallel cables and all that, and the computer cabling will all be hidden in behind some ducting. Um, and it should make my shed look a lot neater. All this stuff up here is going. All that stuff on that back wall, except for the fan controllers for those two top fans, are going. Um, yeah, it'll neaten it up a hell of a lot in here. But that's what I achieved. Oh, um, not just me, Ziggy helped me as well. Um, that's what we achieved today. We got this unit mounted all right I can't wait to get this all done because it's going to look so much neater in here so much better with all these most of these cables all here all hidden like it'll neaten it up like my batteries you know make it all nice and neat make it lovely 
All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little update on my power room. Um, I've got a, like I say, the uh, I've removed all the AC wiring up there. That's just going nowhere right now. Um, the generator wiring has to be shifted over, and then there's the AC out has to go to auxiliary, and uh, yeah, that all has to be all wired and nice. All right, that's it, peoples. Keep safe. Bye. For now.